The next question is from Samuel Leon, and he's asked, what are the common imbalances that you see in an athlete caused by boxing training over time? And what movements in prehab could you suggest to add to their routine to help combat this? So we've identified in our testing um, with the overhead squat and the single leg squat assessment is that boxers struggle with four key areas. Um, we've got hip mobility issues, and this is imbalance between left and right. We've got glute strength issues, mainly due to the hip mobility problems and also not being able to train it over uh, many years. And it's a, a, a knee dominant sport and very upright sport. And then uh, rotational mobility. And also uh, the main one being shoulder mobility. Now these four key areas, we need to start integrating these into a program. And the best way possible to do this is in the warm up and have a structured warm up every single session, whether that's strength conditioning, whether it's your high intensity conditioning and running, whether it's your active recovery, and even for your boxing training. And at Boxing Science, we have a warm up uh, that's on the wall in the gym that the boxers perform every single session. And the reason why they perform it every single session is because it works on these four key areas. And because they've been training for such a long time, you know, some of these boxers have been training for 10 years, maybe even longer before they start doing strength conditioning. Week on week, there's throwing thousands of punches and it's a very anterior dominant sport uh, and a lot of high impacts, especially around the upper limb. So you need to make sure that you're having a little bit of a balancing act. So if you are doing thousands of reps uh, and, and uh, many, many hours in the boxing gym in one single stance in a very anterior dominant sport, and then you're not doing much mobility work, then the imbalances are going to be even more so. So I say it's like a balancing act with your boxer and with your athlete. If you do this warm up every single day that works on these four key areas, you're creating a little bit more of a balance. Now, um, the main area for me is shoulder mobility. We've seen in our research that over 66% of youth boxers have tight shoulders based on their overhead squat scores. And this is probably more so with uh, professional boxers because they've been doing it for a long amount of time. The training's longer and also they're punching harder as well. So the probably um, across uh, professional boxers, I'm guessing that you're probably looking at 70 or 80% of professional boxers having uh, tight shoulders. So we need to make sure our strength and conditioning programs work around that. So we're not exposing them to high weight loads overhead or any kind of pressing activities that um, implicate the shoulder joint and also working towards a three to one push to pull ratio. So making sure that we're doing um, three reps at every one repetition for pushing. So you can do this through um, managing your rep ranges on your key lifts. So uh, mainly like let's say chest press and a prone row. We'll go like five reps on the uh, on the uh, dumbbell bench press and eight to 10 reps on the prone row. And then we'd work to do uh, another two exercises, whether that's a TRX row, TRX T raise, a cable reverse fly, something like that. And then doing something like band variations, working on that posterior shoulder. So you've got around about a three to one ratio there. Uh, so these are some of the things. It's a very um, short question, but could be a long answer. So just to summarize, just make sure that you're doing your mobility warm up every day. And if you're wanting to see this warm up, uh, I'll leave a link in the description of this podcast and you can get the full uh, boxing science warm up that you can start implementing into your strength conditioning sessions. Uh, making sure that you're doing some extended warm ups, working on these four key areas, and also uh, managing your strength and conditioning program around these. Uh, common imbalances in boxing.